Welcome back. Some Bay College students hoping to live in dorms on campus are actually staying in a nearby hotel. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger asked a Bay student what it was like to live in a hotel for a year and attend college. Tiana Taylor plays for the women's basketball team at Bay College. When she started at Bay three years ago, she learned her on-campus housing assignment wasn't what she expected. We would be, all be living in the Super 8. That's where student housing would be that year. So it was a little weird. Taylor now lives on campus in the student townhomes. Last year, I moved into, I was in a four-person dorm, which is basically an apartment. They're very nice. College administrators say Bay has used local hotels for student housing for six years. We have two housing units right now that, um, that are full, and I, they, they hold 50 in both. And then we actually have overflow that's in the Super 8. Taylor says there were a lot of distractions. You hear everything. You hear little kids running around at the hotel. Hughes says the college has space for more dorms. There's a ton of land that we could build, whether we build another row of townhouses or whether we build what I would say kind of the true dormitory style housing. My hope is if there's not a height ordinance, then we would be able to kind of build up and I think we would get more bang for our buck. Right now, the buck is the only holdup for additional housing. We've applied for a USDA loan and so we're in the process right now of going through the necessary steps, the paperwork, the feasibility study, um, all of the different check marks. The federal loan would be $4.7 million. If the loan comes through, Bay College has $1.4 million ready to reach $6.1 million, the amount needed to break ground on new dorms in 2025. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.